This is your total abs Pilates challenge. I'm challenging you to do this workout for 10 days in a row, and I want you to comment every single day that you do the workout to keep yourself accountable. And before we get started, I wanna give a big shout out to my ladies inside the Bar Definition app who are absolutely crushing it. And if you know that you achieve your goals and go so much further when you have a community supporting you, then I highly recommend downloading my brand new Bar Definition app that has a exclusive 30-day bar and Pilates programs. Check out the link down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're gonna start in a high plank pose here. We're gonna start two hands underneath shoulders and let's begin here in our plank. Getting right into it right away. So feet are about hip distance apart. Keep those thighs lifted, push the floor away, press into those finger pads. Nice, and so now we're gonna start, everything we're doing right here is gonna be on the right side. So I want you to begin with the right hand and we're gonna go eight times shoulder taps. So we're gonna go eight, seven, try to keep those hips nice and still. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, keep holding your plank right here. And then we are going to take the hands, we're gonna walk it forward, we're gonna go four, Starting with the right, left, right, and left. Let's do that four times. Four, and back, and three, and back, two, and back, and one, and back. Good, keep holding that high plank. You're gonna stay right here. Lift that right leg. We're gonna pull it all the way in towards our chest. Tap the knee down towards the floor. Pull it up into the chest four times for four, and three, and two, and one, coming into high plank. We're gonna circle it out to the right for four, and three, and two, and one. Good job, take a little breather right here. You can shake out those wrists, and then we're gonna do that all on the left side. Okay, here we go, pop right back into that high plank. You've got this, you are so strong. Starting with the shoulder taps, left arm begins, eight, seven, six, try to keep those hips nice and still, four, three, two, and one. Hand forward, starting with the left, four, and back, three, and back, two, back, one, and back. Holding that high plank, here we go. Lift that left leg up, pull it in towards your chest, Tap the knee down, lift it up for four, and three, Whew. two. We've just got those circles. Good, high plank to the left, circle it out for four. Oh yes, feeling everything there. Three, and two, and one. Okay, Whew. that was good. Now, we're gonna come down onto our backs. Working our core from here, pulling the knees in towards your chest to start. And we're going to reach the left arm, left leg out, just right here like this, eight times. And for eight, and seven, six, and five, keeping the chest up nice and tall. Four, pull that belly button in towards your spine. Three, and two, and one, good, now keep that leg out there, place the hand behind the head, place the other hand behind the head. You're gonna pull the knee in, tap the elbow, extend it out, keep this knee towards your chest. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one, now we're going to take both legs and we're going to cross them elbow to knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little breather. We're gonna do that all on the other side now. Filling that core work. This is one of those great ab finishers to just add into your routine after a run, after a walk, in between your work day, you get the point. Okay, here we go. Eight and seven, 
So we're switching sides now. Six, five, pull belly button into your spine. Four, chin in towards your chest. Three, and two, and one. Place the hands behind the head. Here we go, little twist, elbow to knee for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Now we're going to alternate for eight. Yeah. Seven, six, five, four. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Three, and pointing through those toes. And one, and a little rest right here. Whew. All right, here we go. We've got two little groups of exercises. So we are going to go side kneeling here. We're gonna come up onto our knees, reach the arms up overhead, and we're going to take ourselves over to the right side, just like this, and up. Now I want you to imagine like you're holding a beach ball here something in between your hands, and you're taking yourself over and then back up. Good, just eight, just like this. Eight, up, seven, and up. Definitely feel those obliques working right there. Six, nice and slow and steady. Five, four, Three, good, you've got it. And two, reach to the fingertips. And on this last one, we're gonna hold right here for eight. <laughs> hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, really good oblique right here. So right from here, we're gonna take our right hand down to the floor and then we're gonna Extend the left arm up, bring that leg, cross it just right there, and we're going to pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're gonna sit the hips down. You're gonna open up the legs just a little bit so you're like in this triangle here. And we're going to lift all the way back up into our triangle press ups and down. Good, eight right here for eight. And seven, six, five, and four, three, two, and one. And up, good job. All right, now we're gonna do all that on the other side. Whew. Okay, extend long through this leg right here. Now the tendency is to kind of push the booty out. Make sure that you tuck that pelvis underneath you. Reach the arms, imagine that ball right there. Bend over to the side for eight. And up, seven. I do love how you also get a little bit of a hip stretch here. So we're working the body laterally here, really engaging the core, using those back muscles as well, and even opening up the hips here. Four. Three. And two. Now you know what's coming. We're gonna hold this last one here. Try to extend eight. Seven, reach to the fingertips longer. Reach to the toes even. Four, three, two, one, and release. Good. Place that left hand down and then extend up the arm. Reach it. Here we go. I want you to look up towards the sky. Lift those hips up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, sit the hips down. Open the legs into that nice little triangle here. After this, we just have one more combo. Here we go, for eight. Let's take the arms nice and graceful. 
seven, really lift the hips up as high as you can. Push out of the floor here. Think of the shoulder, press away. Six, and beautiful, five. You're doing so good. Four, three, two, and one and lower okay you ready for our final little bit here we're going to come onto our forearms now we're going to do forearms down and we're going to bring the left knee to the left shoulder so left knee to left shoulder all the way up here like this all right we're going to do four right here and let's go for four and three two and one, place that toe down, hold it here. We're just gonna saw it forward, saw it back four times. Four, three, staying as straight as a board. Two, keep holding it, don't come out of it. Hold, hold, hold. You're just gonna take that left hip down for four. Good, and three, keep holding. Two, and one, you're staying here in this plank. Stay with me, and now we're gonna walk it up. We're just gonna push the head in between the upper arm bones, walk it slightly back out into your forearm plank. Good, four, like that. Four, and lower, and three. Lower, two, and one. And lower, good. Let's come all the way down into our stomachs. <sighs> Take a little breather. This is our last bit. We're doing those four exercises for the right side, and then you are all done. Whew. No matter where you're doing this in your day, I'm sure you're just gonna feel so much better when you're done. So accomplished, here we go, right side, four. Sometimes if I really don't have any time, doing a core workout kind of just makes me feel like my whole day is put together. It's, Amazing what an impact just 10 minutes can have. Good, let's saw it out for four, three, two, and one. Hip dips, here we go. Four, and up. Three, two, and one. Hold it here. Last bit for four. Really try to walk it all the way so that those ears are right in between the upper arm bones. Three. Woo. And two. And one, this is it. Finish it out all the way to that plank and then come down. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, let's take a quick stretch. Really proud of you for being here. Showing up on your mat, I know it can be tough, but you did it. Make sure that you comment down below. I always love, 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 love reading your comments. It just takes a couple seconds. It really does. Just helps me connect with you. So I know what you liked, what you want more of, all of that. I love it so much. All right, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Check out these other two workouts that I've got here for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.